Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Candid with Cretonia. I am your host Shreya and with me is our guest Divika Desa, the founder and overall coordinator of Exios, the technical club of IIIT Lucknow. He is a GitHub campus expert. He was a GSOC 2019 developer with Public Labs, a GSOC 2020 mentor for Digital Impact Alliance. Today, we will be talking about his placement story at Postman, a collaboration platform for API development. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Shreya. Would you like to tell us about Postman and your placement story? Yeah, sure. So about Postman, uh, a company where you will find a to where you can find uh, you can find your comfort on developing APIs from A to Z, or as I say, from documentation to testing to the whole uh, development process. So that's what Postman is about. Talking about my placement story, so it's uh, I would like to start uh, with how it started. So uh, first of all, I was uh, referred to Postman by one of the existing employees, and then uh, I had a coding test after some days, uh, which I qualified, and then I had three interviews. Uh, the three interviews were totally around uh, the skills which I have, including the fundamentals which we study in college, operating system, networking, etc. Uh, the projects which I had done, and about my GSOC. So these three rounds were around that. So and after the very next day of the last interview, I got a confirmation call from the HR team that I was selected for the role. So that's pretty much about the story. Wow, that's very interesting. Uh, would you like to highlight a takeaway from the process? A takeaway from the process is never consider an interview as an interview. Uh, can always consider it as a discussion with the interviewer or the person in front of you, because that would not only uh, help your interviewer better to understand you, but uh, also minimizes the pressure which you have because it can never be zero, but it will definitely minimize the pressure you have in your mind while you are giving that interview. Yeah. That surely was a grab on for us. Could you give us an insight in what Postman is and what project will you be working on specifically? Yeah, sure. So, what Postman is? It is a collab. Just as you said, that it is a collaboration platform for API development. So, what that means? That first of all, like, what is an API? So, an API is a way or a method by which you exchange information with the other party or the server, which we say. So, uh, whenever you browse through the internet, you do something, some clicks, or you search something, you do something. So there is always some API involved. Like Google dot com is it's uh, Google dot com when you search on it. So it itself hits an endpoint of an API. So yeah. So now Postman is all about APIs. API. What I say, what they say, or what we say is API everywhere. So. Uh, whenever in life as well you can see examples of that but talking about postman particularly it helps you to develop those apis from the documentation part to the testing part to the actual testing of apis so everything that is related to api development uh, postman takes your effort or your uh, efforts from that to themselves uh, it provides you a platform where you can develop those apis test them document them or you can make them 100% prepared to serve the traffic and you don't need to worry about that uh, postman does it all yeah so that's about postman and the project uh, what i will be particularly uh, working on is uh, a, is an api gateway which is uh, which is uh, used to serve the traffic uh, that the that postman uh, has the network traffic so i am working on improving the observability for the same as well i am working on some uh, i worked on some of the security features as well uh, related to the traffic we face yeah so that are that is in like some some light upon what i'll be working on i was wondering how you prepared for this and what motivated you so what prepare uh, 
so what motivates me first of all is like uh postman has always been a dream company for me so the that uh, uh that eagerness to reach there that uh, eagerness to be a part of that and to work with those talented people uh who have built such a system and i would also very proudly say that it's one of the it's the first and the only company right now which is working directly in the tech field like there are other tech companies as well uh but it's the only uh, company that has its origin in india that is working directly on a software tool that helps others so that's a proud moment for me and when i came to knew about this that was the first and i think the biggest uh, one of the biggest motivating factor apart from that the culture which i have read about in postman and which i even see right now so i always wanted to be in such an organization and i think that what uh, that's what my motivation was at that point of time so true Uh, is there a piece of advice you would like to give to our listeners specifically in context of placements so for placements i would say that uh, first point uh, like never lose hope uh, nobody is a loser nobody is a winner it is always a matter of time and a matter of efforts in the first place so never lose hope just do your hard work one day or another some day will be yours and apart from that i would say that be very very prepared about whatever your resume says about you be very very prepared about that because that's what you will be judged upon it doesn't matter that you have a very fancy looking resume but 70% or 50% or let's say even 10% of it lies about you be very genuine on your resume and be very prepared about what your resume says about you so i think that is one of the biggest and one of the abstract way of saying things apart from that never stop your hard work and as i said that one day will come when you will realize that all your efforts have uh, like all your efforts have put yourself in that position that was some solid advice you mentioned finding one's dream company is there any recommendation so i would say go according to your natural interest whatever interests you i was interested in back end development i was interested in like that happens in most of the companies but again i was interested in a company that follows software principles where i can learn a lot i was not about just going to company going to my organization going to office and start working uh it's always about what i learned as well from there because uh that's i think one of the most important part that postman as well focuses on so i would say that go according to what you need as well from the company company yeah so that should be the first point that what you need from the company the sec the second point is what your interests are so your interest may be something related to machine learning or something so you can go you can choose the company uh from that uh, with that interest uh, like based upon that interest as well yeah that indeed was very interesting thank you so much for sharing your story with us it was really informative and fun to have you with us thank you sir thanks for having me here <laughs>